Right. Traffic out in the gorge has been pretty low right. because of the Eagle Creek fire, and that means fewer tourists, too, especially at the wineries around Hood River. It's also forced the wineries to assess the health of their grapes. Our Eileen Park shows you. Winemakers tell me the westerly winds actually brought a lot of the smoke back to the Hood River area. But for vineyards like this one, the strength of those winds had a cleansing effect on the leaves. It got rid of a lot of the ash. At Hood Crest Winery in Hood River, the smoke from the Eagle Creek fire still fills the air. This is one of our best days. I can see blue sky. And the talk amongst winemakers right now is about how the Eagle Creek fire is affecting their grapes. This is more like a dirty ashtray smoke. Co-owner of the winery, Patrick Barr, is describing an effect called smoke taint. Although he's concerned, he's not alarmed. I'm not tasting it, and I'm not seeing a lot on the plants, but uh, I'll probably send some out just to get an effect of see where it, if they're showing the level. For Rob Bell of Cathedral Ridge Winery. A lot of people are asking about the, the concept of will the smoke taint the grapes? He's not too worried about it, yet. The evil thing about it is, it's not likely to be spotted until six or ten months in the bottle. The chemistry is, again, very ambiguous about do I have it or don't I. He says for smoke taint to really have an effect, the fire has to be very close to the grapes. We're not going to court karma and be disrespectful of, of smoke taint possibilities. We're, we're on guard, so to speak. But I think it'd be irresponsible to say that we think it'll be a widespread phenomena in this harvest. I also talked with farmers if the Eagle Creek fire has had any effect on their crop. And they said the fire has barely had any effect on the crop itself. But the problem is transportation. They said it's been taking much longer to get their crops transferred because of the I-84 closure. And it's been costing them. In Hood River, I'm Ollie Park for Coin 6 News.